as promised, a video of one of the things that we're working on. I wanted to send you this video as we start doing a Leave It exercise with Annie because I want you to see how I react if she's overexcited. So this is her introduction to the Leave It exercise. I've been using those words and showing her, like if she jumps on me, I move her down uh, and show her, leave it means this. Um, not, a, not a punitive measure, but you see her right here? I have treats in these pockets. So what I've been doing, for example, just to start getting her used to the words is, see she's crazy over these, leave it, and I show her. She'll come back, leave it, and I show her. The words leave it don't mean anything to her right now, but we're about to teach her. So this is what I want you to see. <laughs> um, this is the most basic exercise, and I want you to do it a couple of times a day, every day. So let me show you what I've got. In my left hand, I've got this big liver treat that I'm gonna hold on to, leaving just enough space for her to be able to nibble or lick at it. I want her to get all up in there and become just um, obsessed with it. And then what I'm gonna do is put this handful of smaller treats, these are rewards, behind my back. So what you're gonna see me do is I'm gonna let her nibble and nibble and nibble. She's not gonna be standing up on me at the time, of course. She's gonna nibble, 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 and you're gonna hear me patiently repeat, leave it, leave it, leave it. So I'm not yelling at her, I'm just repeating it. At some point, either because she gets distracted or she wants to take a breather or whatever, her nose will move away from this target for just a split second even. And the instant that it does, I quickly bring a treat from around my back and say, yes, and then treats go back. So what we're doing is we're starting to condition her brain. She doesn't know what the words mean. That's why I'm repeating them. So I want her to just keep hearing them, just keep hearing them. And then as she moves away, even if it's because she's distracted, I'm gonna affirm it and give her a treat. So let me adjust my camera just a hair. There we go, okay. So here we go. I don't pay any attention to any other shenanigans. So I'm holding this so that she can get her nose and her lips and her tongue on it. If she nibbles pieces off, that's fine. Now what I want you to notice as I sneak the treats behind my back is that I do not pull this away. If I pull it away, it just becomes a game. So you're gonna see me hold it steady. All right, so here we go. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, 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 yes. Now on that occasion, the reason that she moved her nose away is because she broke a piece off. That's fine. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Annie, leave it. Leave it. Annie, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Yes. Good girl. I'm experimenting with using her name and not using her name. So that's why you hear me doing both. So on that occasion, she let go and looked up. I'm going to let her finish her treat and then I'll still be holding this. Now I'm going to be doing this for a while with her. So you probably will not have to wait as long for her to comply at all. Leave it. Annie, leave it. Yes. So saying her name does seem to be helpful. Annie, leave it. Yes. Yes. Good girl. She's smart. She's going to lay down, take her time. So now look at her. She's leaving it. So I'm going to tempt her a little more. I lean into her. Leave it. 
Andy, leave it. Leave it. Yes. Good girl. So what she's learning is that when she starts to move away from this, even just an inch, she's getting rewarded. And I'm saying yes or good, something to affirm her. Still have these treats behind my back. Annie, leave it. Annie, leave it. Yes. Good girl. She's a smart one. Annie, leave it. Yes. That time, the minute that I said her name. So the idea is that you're going to keep doing this exact exercise where you're holding the treat right here in a place that's comfortable for you, but where you can hold it steady. And you're going to keep telling her, leave it. Now you see how she's giving me some space right now? Here it is. She's good girl. Good girl. Annie, leave it. Yes. She's already leaving it. Now I'm just creating a situation where I can tell her. So we go from this, which you're going to do for a couple of days, two times um, a day, uh, maybe five or ten minutes. It depends on how long it takes her to get to this, where she's, where she's respecting my treat. So remember, respect uh, is distance for a dog. So right now she's being very respectful. Now she's not. Annie, leave it. Yes! Now you will get to a point with her in a couple of days, maybe not even that long, where you feel like she's manipulating the system, where she's going to come over and put her nose on this just so that I'll give her a treat. That's a good thing because that means she's starting to understand what leave it means. So where we're headed with this is that at some point we will take it and we'll put it down like on furniture next to us. Annie, leave it. Leave it. It's more exciting. Leave it. Annie, leave it. It's more exciting when it's down there. Leave it. See me use my leg? That's for my own. Leave it. So this right now, yes, good girl. You could see how her excitement goes up. She's not ready for that yet, but I wanted you to see where we're headed. We'll get to a, a, a level two where we put it on the furniture, and then level three, the real excitement, is when we put it on the floor. Because, of course, dogs think that everything on the floor is theirs. But don't worry about levels two and three yet. Level one is what you're practicing. So here we go. Let me get a few more reward treats out of my pocket. I'll break them up a little bit because I don't want her to spend 10 minutes eating them. Oh, help yourself. Did you find it? No? Okay. All right, let's do this one last time and then we'll cut the video out. Treats are behind my back. Target treat right here. Annie, leave it. Yes! Look how smart your puppy is. Ah, ha, ha, yes. So you see how she licked it and pulled away? She's already starting to figure it out. Nonetheless, no matter how good she is, I still want you to practice just like this. So you want to find a target that you can wrap your hands around. You don't want it to be too small. You want it to be something that you can give her some room to nibble at while you're still holding it tight. Andy, leave it. Yes. Oh, she's off camera because she's so far away. Look at her. So, okay. I'll show you this when you get here, um, but wanted you to see it and, uh, and be ready for it. Over and out.